Welcome back. We are here at Bean Trailer and we are going to be checking out their new bean stock. stock. But it's not right here. It's out in a building out there somewhere. So we're going to go out there and check <laughs> it out. We are back in the hidden part of the bean trailer factory. We are in this uh, metal hut back here and we are going to be showing you the bean stock. We were going to show you outside, but it is like a hurricane out there with 30 mile per hour winds. And so we're back here. It's going to be a little bit echoey, but this is an amazing new trailer that Bean has came up with that meets a lot of what people really want with these smaller teardrop trailers. So with the Bean stock, they are trying to get a lower price point, a lighter trailer, but still have all the features that people really want and need to get out there and explore. And that's why we go with these smaller trailers is so you can get out and explore and find those places where you can't get the bigger trailers. As many of you know, we've had our Bean teardrop trailer for about two years now and have loved it. It is really cool to see the evolution that Bean trailers went through since we bought ours almost two years ago. So let's walk around and show you what the Bean stock has for you at a price point that is way more competitive. Now, before I give you the full walk around of this bean stock, first thing, all bean trailers come with this 100% fiberglass exterior construction. Any of us that own trailers know that water is your number one enemy. And with the bean, you never have to worry about that, which is just one of those added benefits. Also with the bean stock, the main thing was cutting weight. The, the base bean stock is under 1200 pounds. Yeah under 1200 pounds. This one's done up a little bit, so it's a little bit over 1200 pounds, but that is amazing to be under 1200 pounds for this style of a trailer. Ours is very similar sized and is over 3000. So they have cut a lot of weight off of this, but they have not cut quality and they haven't cut a lot of the amenities you can have. So let's walk around and look at all the things you still get on this bean stock. Starting up front here, Bean is offering a bunch of different options. This one that we're looking at has the 12 volt refrigerator right here. So it's this cooler option, similar to what we have on ours, but we have it in the back alley. Just open it up, you have removable uh, dividers, all that sort of stuff so your, your food and everything doesn't get shaken around too bad as you're off-roading. This is an all weather refrigerator, so it's fine to be out in the sun, out in the cold, all that sort of stuff. The tray out front, I don't know if Kara can show you this. This tray is huge. So you got three feet by the width. You can store so much stuff up here. So you have your nice big cooler here. You have this Pelican storage case here, all weather. It has the rubber seals, so dirt and dust is not getting in there. But one of the cooler things they have, if Kara can show this around here, Instead of just having little tie down hooks, they've integrated in a tie down system. If my fat fingers will get it out, there we go. So all their hooks are built in. So now you just pop down in there and it latches. Super nice. As you're traveling down the road, super secure. It's not coming undone. You don't have to deal with putting some ratchet strap over the top. This is a really cool system with these integrated in tie downs. With this front cargo tray area, you can get a whole bunch of different options. This one has the smaller cargo box with your fridge, or you can get this option right over here. This extra large Pelican cargo box. So instead of having your box built onto your trailer to save weight and cost, they've just got this latched on me if I shut it. There we go. It's awesome because you could remove this when you don't need it. Or if you wanted to use this for something else around the house, you could, and then throw it back on your trailer when you need to. It's a really cool system. Or there's also this metal version, if that's the route you want to go. Or you can just go with the flat tray. So tons of options here. You could put a lot of firewood out on the front of this thing. Of course, out front, you have your propane cans. So you have your two bottles here. Now, this trailer doesn't get plumbed for propane. 
So you're going to just take your can out and you come around back to your grill wherever you need it. Then just bring it back and put it back. Very lightweight system. I like how they've done these new uh, bottle holders as well. Really slick. Uh, it makes it look very finished. It's not just some little metal strap or some little clip-in hook thing. It, it's gonna hold up. You're gonna be able to take this off-road and not worry about these bottles coming out. I have not seen any trailer with that good of a system for propane bottles. Doesn't matter your big fifth wheels, whatever. It's an ordeal to get the bottle out. This, so easy. I even asked, hey, could we get those on ours? And he's like, well, no, not right now, but maybe we'll twist some arms and see if we can get these on ours. Out front, you do have a two inch hitch. It is a removable receiver, so I would guess, I'm, don't, don't quote me, I would guess you could probably get the articulating off-road hitch as well. It looks like it works. Coming down the side, this model of, of the Beanstalk has double doors. The base model only has one door and then with the exit window. This one has the double doors. It, they've changed their window setup as well to the Arctic turn. So you have your different points and then drops down in. It's kind of those European, Australian caravan style. I really like this type of window. Of course, you have your spare tire back here and your mounted roof rack. Up on top of the trailer, you do have your solar panel right here. I like these new solar panels. They bend with the roof really nice. You have your Thule roof rack and your Max fan. This is a low profile Max fan. So instead of having that, that louver that comes up and down, inside it just kind of louvers this way. On this other side, you have your awning, which we'll show you. And on this side, another awning. With the roof rack, you can have an awning out on this side. This one's like the shower style, like a little tent. So you could have maybe a little porta potty or, you know, your your off-road shower system. Something that we really need to do on ours. Coming around the backside. Now, traditionally, this is a big hatch door that you have your, your rear galley, your sink, your water heater, all that stuff. But this doesn't have that at all. This is just one solid fiberglass unit. So you do have this nice big back window, which would be so nice when you're out boondocking to back up to that spot and you have this nice big window to bring in lots of light, but also to show that view. Cause without it, you're kind of enclosed without a lot of view. So this is a, a very, very nice addition. Coming down this side, you have your table. This actually comes with two tables on this one. Right here, you have your jerry can rack mounted into the trailer. It'll fit any style of jerry can. This is just the one that they have on. And then, so you can just pump it in. Then you have your removable sink. Just go dump the water when you're done. Right here you have a cutting board or you can have another sink spot. So when you're doing dishes, you know, wash and rinse, all that sort of stuff. Really cool. And then a nice table. This is not a plastic table, this is metal. Really nice setup here. And when you're all done with it, it goes right down in here. I don't know if Kara can see this. How cool is that? This is sweet. What a what an innovative way to, to make space for your table is to just have it mounted right down under here on this nice little rack. That, that's pretty cool. One thing that Bean is known for is off-road capable trailers. And one of the ways they do that is their suspension system. So I'm gonna crawl down under here and I'm gonna show you what they put on their Beanstalk as a suspension system. Now, as I crawl down here, let's look at the tires first. These are just kind of a standard road tire here on this version, just a radial. But even on this regular version with the road tire, you're getting independent suspension. So if you want to hand me that, Kara. So if we get down here, as we get down here, it comes with timber and off-road independent suspension, which is pretty dang cool on a trailer at this price point to come with timber and suspension. Most just have a standard straight axle, pretty cheap, but they've went all out on this. Also, they make their frames 
These are not some mass-produced frame that they're just putting the bean on top of. But how nice is that? You'll also notice there is no water tank down here because this trailer doesn't uh, have any sort of water supply. It's just your jerry cans, which most people that are looking to get into these smaller units don't really need a, a large water supply. They're carrying their own water. As we're down here, you can also notice how all the clean the wiring is. No wires hanging down anywhere. Also, you don't see any propane lines because this trailer does not have any propane lines ran. You just move the bottles to where you need to and hook them up. A great thing with the Beanstalk is even though you're cutting cost and weight and all those things, you can see that they haven't cut on quality. Throughout this whole unit, everything looks so nice, finished, well done, put together. It's so nice to see an RV manufacturer really caring about the little things and putting them together right, rather than just slapping stuff on and calling it, you know, redesigned or whatever. It, the quality just stands out so much. I like the evolution of Beam because they are actually taking their products out. They are testing it. They are putting them through the ringer. Uh, we were just told that they have a couple of company vehicles and they use those to tow these. So they know what the vehicles are capable as well as their trailers are capable off-road. If any of you know Poison Spider in Moab, they did that with a Bronco and their Beam. So R&D, they are putting these trailers to the test, trying to see what they can and cannot do, what they're capable of, and what they need to come back and reconfigure. Now, if you want the more off-road version of the Beanstalk, there is an option with a four inch lift. So if you're looking at this going, oh, that's just not quite where I want it, they can make it how you want. Four inch lift, off-road tires, it's going anywhere. It'll be more capable than your tow vehicle is. As we said, you can get tons of different options. Here is another bean stock. This one comes with the rooftop tent, the front tray, and rock sliders with the four inch lift. So tons of different options you can get on such a little trailer. Uh, typically I would be showing you the kitchen or the inside. <laughs> There is no kitchen. Well, inside, I should say. So uh, let, let me show you what is inside. Coming on in on the inside, let's show you a few features. Uh, right away, you can see there's not the typical pass-through cabinetry. It's wide open and you have access to this really great window. Right here, you have a little bit of a storage shelf, extra table. Down below, really great storage as well. Uh, this trailer actually works off of a power pack versus a battery. Uh, they have several different sizes depending on how much power you need, but you've got full access to that right there. Nice thing about the power packs is you can pull that out and use it around your campsite. You need to do phones or some kind of electronics, anything like that very easily accessible right there that you need to pull it out for. As always, you've got your little fold-up mattress, configures up into your couch. With this mattress, it works great because you can fold it up, put it into your couch configuration, use your little makeshift table here, and have a really great dining experience. Yeah, open up that window and I can imagine sitting here in the storm like today, it would be really nice to have a couch. <laughs> yeah, sit in here and eat and look out the window while mm -hmm. it's storm. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Great option. Up above, we mentioned the Max Air fan. It is that slim profile once again, but you're still getting all the airflow that you may need in here. Something Bean has done, they've switched over to these really nice windows that we are becoming big fans of. <laughs> they are the push ones on the strut system. Set it where you want it, let it release, hatch it back down. It also has the nightshade as well as your screen as well. A bean did add these really heavy duty. They are hooked right to the roof rack so you know they're not going to budge and you can hang something really heavy there. 
They also have the option of adding this upper cabinet here. We are big fans of ours. We stuff a lot of random things in there. <laughs> Another added option are the backrest cushions. And I can attest with ours, these would be nice. We might have to buy some. We might have to get some. Yeah, for sure. It's a really nice option. You can see up above, they have their traditional LED lighting. Save LED saves so much in electricity, especially if you're running off your power pack. A really nice option. Overall, the inside, you have got so much space in here. If you're a tall person, you've got lots of foot room down below. You've got lots of storage in here still. All your amenities are in here. You're not lacking anything other than you are losing a little weight on this trailer. You can tell we are big fans of Bean. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Uh, you know, they are so accommodating on whatever you need your Bean to do for you. Whether it be interior, exterior, front storage, so many, many options clear down to tires and axles and how it's tied onto your vehicle. They are so customization with these trailers. It's amazing buying from an independent manufacturer, the customer service you mm -hmm. can get. Oh, it, yes. It's top notch. And Bean now offers shipping. So talk to them if you're not here in Utah on getting your trailer shipped to you because there's a lot of people <laughs> that are worried about that. Hey, I'm in Indiana. I have all these junky trailers that are built here, but I don't want one of them. Can you ship me one of these? They now have an option. Yes. And we truly need to thank Bean for letting us <laughs> invade their uh, R&D <laughs> area here. Yeah, for sure. Letting us film this out of the weather. We do appreciate you guys for doing that. As always, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all those sort of things, and enjoy your weekend. Or, no, this is for the, what is that big round? The disc. Disc real thing. <laughs> oh, what is it called? Well, Toscato or Moscato or whatever disc they call disc it. The big disc cooking thing.